Yo, welcome back. We're now on Ice Cream Islands. The second stage of Kirby's Adventure. No, that's not the right game. Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Greatest game of all time. Top tier number one game ever made. Ba -dum -bum 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 -ba -dum -bum. I mean, just as... I know it's probably just me, but I think I feel like Kirby gets snubbed a lot when people talk about favorite games. Because it's a game series that has never deteriorated in quality ever. Ever. It's consistent. For the most part. Okay, that's not true. Some games are better than others. Like you look at Kirby Star Allies that came out recently. I don't think it's a bad game. It's kind of boring. And actually a little easy. But the parts that, you know, I think I get to more difficult later on, but the, it's easy and slow to start with. And I don't think it's a good thing. This game, I, do you see how fast I went through the first world? You know, 10 minutes flat, easy. But this game does get harder. And for people who aren't experienced, it's difficult enough. I like this power-up, even though it's not, honestly, not. it's cool, but it's not that useful. I mean, these levels are so short that you get to the difficult parts fast if you're good at it. And if you're not, then just take your time. There's no worries. Levels are short enough to where you're not going to have too much difficulty. But it's fun. The game The game is, is fun. fun. <laughs> if it's, it's not, not fun, fun, why bother? Why bother? If there's no battle, then where's the fun? Sorry. Reggie's lines will be infamous forever. Bum-ba-dum. Ba-dum-ba-dum. Ah, bloody hell. In actuality, having a, I made fun of the fact that the first Kirby game just had shooting. And power ups are great, but for bosses and a lot of things, just having the ability to shoot is far better sometimes. I would like to see a new Kirby game, but maybe one with a different. Something always people always complain about, they went back to the old style. Maybe just something interesting. Something fun and interesting. You can't just remake the old games over and over again. No matter how much people want that. Oh, bloody bastard. Yeah, bosses, it's far easier just to shoot. I mean, we, but there are like, if you ever played Kirby's Airroid. Airroid? Yeah. Hey, mate, you ever played Kirby's Airroid? It's a good game. Well, no, but Kirby, <laughs> Kirby's Airroid's a fantastic game. And that was them trying something new. So I'd love to see them try something new in the Kirby series. And see what they could... Oh, bloody, bloody bastard. Ah, oh, God bless America. I'd love, to, I'd love to see what they could do with Kirby, trying some new ideas. Nintendo's at its best when it's trying new things. It's when they try to appease older audiences. Audience, it's when they appease older audiences. Okay, sometimes it works out well, but for the most part, appeasing older audiences doesn't always work very well. I think that's when they stagnate a bit. And I think that's why they put de-emphasize stuff like the Virtual Console. And I'm happy they're doing that. People are so upset, but Virtual Console is not a necessity. You played the games already, and if you want to play them again, you probably own a copy already, or five. I know some people who have a copy of, like, Super Mario 64 on every single system that they sold it on. I was like, seriously? Really? It's a good game. Play some new games. Oh, oh. Dad, bless America. I was not trying to do that. That's a good power-up. Wait, can I? Nah, I figured as much. I got up. Yeah, but I know some people who have bought the same game multiple times just because it's come out again on the Virtual Console. And I'm like, really? I get it. I I get it. I get it. No, I get it. Sincerely, I do. It's certain games I would probably do that for. There are a lot of games I would love to have on the Switch. But at the same time, it's not a necessity. If I want to play it, I probably own a copy of it. And Nintendo shouldn't be spending their time porting old games 50 times over again. They should be focusing their time on new games. New experiences that could be better and awesome and really cool. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, I like Kirby's Air Ride. It's a good game. Game, game, best game of all time. Game of the year. Ah, it just makes me think of Donkey's uh, best game of all time, Super Mario Bros. 2. That was them trying something new as well. But the only reason they tried something new is because uh, Mario wasn't established as, you know, what it was. They've only had one game, so they were just like, fuck it. I don't know what Mario is yet. Let's try something... Actually, that's not true. The real Mario 2 was exactly the same as Mario 1, with some difficulty changes. God damn it. Annoying boss. I got it done. Get her done. 
No, but Mario, the original Mario 2 was obviously just a harder version of Mario 1, wasn't it? Ah, uh, that's not worth it. But, um, the one that came out in America was just a reskinned version of another game called Doki Doki Panic, everyone knows this. But, yeah, so maybe that's not the same. <laughs> okay, Adventure Link, that's a better example, where they weren't sure what Zelda was going to be, so they made a second game that's entirely different from the first. Sorry. I can't help it, man. Sing along to Kirby. It's in your blood, man. It gets in there. I mean, God bless America. Hopefully this isn't the start of bad tidings for me in Kirby range. See, guys, it is possible to die in Kirby. And you will see I will die a lot more before this is out, but... Man. I don't know. I think Nintendo is best when it's trying new things. That's all I was trying to say. They gotta take risks if they want to do something better. Think about uh, Star Fox Zero, where they were trying to, like, reach back to the 64 audience. Not saying it always works, but I feel like it's worth it because some of the hits are way better than some of them... are way more memorable than some of the misses. And I'd rather have some misses if it meant some of those major hits. I don't know, I'm, I'm talking... ...loony. Regardless, there are some... ...good games I wish I owned anyways that I... I'm talking about all these games, I don't own half of them because I don't have money. Like Mario Maker 2, it's a new update that was just announced today. Uh, that dates this, I suppose. Where it has a lot of cool things, speaking of Mario Bros. 2, it has a Mario Bros. 2 power-up, it's got, you know... ...worlds, all this other stuff. Sounds awesome. It sounds delightful. I would love to have it. I love this power-up. I would love to have it. Sincerely. That game looks fun. I have the first Mario Maker, but I don't have the new one. And it's just a shame, because the new one it looks fantastic. Spark that creative itch. Make your own levels. I had some good ideas for levels. They're very time-consuming, though. I think I gave up on one of them. It was a good level. And there was one that was so hard that I... I know it was possible, I just couldn't beat it. I could beat it when I had checkpoints, but just as a straight through, I couldn't. And... Which shows it's possible. It's just so difficult that I couldn't manage it. And to be truthfully told, I'm just not very good at Mario. <laughs> I'm really not very good at platformers. I don't know why I like playing with so many of them. Five. If you notice, there's a little bit... There are more levels in this one than there were in the last one. A little bit. Just enough, but it's interesting. The stages get more complicated as they go along, which makes sense, if you really think about it. God, God bless America. I don't know why... I didn't used to say that, God bless America. But now I do. I don't know what happened to me. Oh. Influenced by somebody I know. I don't know who. But now it's become part of my vernacular. Just as long as I say that, I say bloody hell. Good. But it's weird how certain words just become, you start saying them. And you don't know where they come from, because they don't make a lot of sense. I'm not British, why would I say bloody hell? I am an American, so God bless America. You know, that's fine and all that. But I didn't say it before. It's bizarre. It's bizarre, it's weird, it's a bit, it's a bit dodgy. Sorry. <laughs> it's just fascinating to think about. In my opinion, at least. I know there's a lot to explore. There's one thing about Kirby that I, I find myself wanting to explore, but I know there's never going to be anything worthwhile. Really. For the mo it's not- this isn't, you know, Great Cave Offensive in Superstar. There's not going to be some amazing power-up that I haven't seen before. It's really just going to be health items. There might be, you know, a big red button, pink button. That's really about it. That's really all you're going to see. Ah, bloody hell, I can't get him like this. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but there's not a lot of incentive for exploring, which is why they're mostly linear. But when they have stages that are a bit more open-ended, I just... I don't know. I still feel the urge to explore, but at the same time, it's not really that necessary. What is this? Oh, that's right, Warp Story. I don't need that. Oh, let's do DDD, or whatever it is. This is- I love this boss. 
I used to, I remember I had a lot of trouble with this back in the day, but it's a fun boss, it really is. He just draws out these enemies and it's cool. It's just it's just cool, I like it. What are you gonna draw, man? Oh bloody why did I do that? I knew that was a mistake. I can beat him. I can beat him. I can do it. I can do it. Definitely, guys. I'm skilled. I'm a skilled Kirby master. Uh, number one Kirby player in the world. Oh, oh, Jesus. I did not mean to do that. Damn, man. I got this. I shouldn't be losing he health. I Usually, I'm pretty good at getting the bonus health at the end of stage. I haven't been doing that. So, I'm not prepared for the later levels. See, now I can do that, because I have extra health. Where are you going, Bubby? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom. Easy as pie, simple as horseshoe. Basics. Back to basics, everybody. That is a fun boss. I love it. It's very creative. You're getting to see all the different power-ups. Oh, Butter Building. Oh, this is great music. This is probably one of my favorite Kirby tracks. But we're not doing that. Actually, we're going to go back and do some of these bonus stages. Uh, let's see. You haven't seen this one. This is Arena. This is just for fighting for power-ups and um, um, maximum tomatoes. You know, extra health and all that. But it's cool to have. Another thing to break up the main stages are just extra little battles like these. And the bosses, they're, su they're surprisingly, you know, okay, some of them are easy. But doing a bunch of bosses without getting hit, it's not easy. You gotta actually learn the attack patterns. That's a power-up up there, you already know that. You already did the bomb one. There was one more, here it is. This is my favorite minigame, I love this minigame. If you had a link cable, you can play this with friends. It's fun, it's super fun, I love it. All three minigames and the sub-games in this game are not from the NES. Damn, I'm getting behind. I'm usually good at this as well. Yeah, but the NES ones, they completely swapped for new ones in this game, which is fine, because they're all good in this game. Not that they weren't good in the NES one, I don't mean to bash. Come on. I'm not in first place, am I? Oh, I am! Hell yeah! Booyah, baby. That was easy. Oh, no, it wasn't easy, but it was fun. Just barely three... Yep, three props. That's a great mini game, sub game, whatever. But yeah, but they changed it for this game. It's in the word game a lot. I am the Game Boy. Ha! Huh. Get it? Because his name is System. Well, anyways, we'll check out that uh, next time. This was, uh, what, Ice Cream Island World 2? Easy. It took us a little bit longer. I see if you see a trend coming along. But uh, still pretty fast. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all the other garbage. Um, and goodbye. Thanks.